Great, hands are up, elbows are tucked in. We're gonna start with a nice light jab cross. When you throw your jab, make sure you're stepping it, snap it out. So if you're heavy on your feet, or your students are heavy on the feet, what you want to do is do drills like, obviously, quick feet, high knees, butt kickers, ski switches. It's What it's going to do is automatically put them on their toes while you're switching your feet up and down, jumping jacks, anything to put them on the balls of the feet. And you just want to focus on where exactly your weight is distributed. A little bit of bend in the knee, sink down into it, engage your quad, your butt, your hamstring. So I'll just show you some quick ones and what to avoid and what not. What, what to do and what not to do. So your students are just standing like this and you're just throwing punches. As soon as your target moves, you're, you're off balance completely. So your feet are just heels on the ground. What we want to do is put you on your toes, engage your calves. That's it, you're on the balls of feet. You're gonna have to bounce a little bit and relieve the tension. Some people get stuck just st staying straight on the toes the whole time and it just becomes exhausting. So you gotta pedal your feet a little bit. That's it, so if I was gonna just pedal my feet, stay on the balls of your feet, occasionally relax on the heel, then pop it back up onto your toes, practice going up and down. So drills I mentioned, ski switches. You know, quick feet, high knees, ball kickers. Bring the heels to the back. These are extremely simple ways. As soon as you see you're stuck on the ground or somebody you're working with stuck on the ground, immediately put them into a ski switch or a high knees. This will get them light on their feet and they'll just be able to flow and throw punches a lot easier. Uh, bye for now. Keep hitting it.